hi everyone welcome back to my channel so i don't know if you remember some of you will some of you won't so i will leave the link below this video um i made a very big diorama which um, hopefully made its way to nice in the south of france somebody bought it off my etsy store now i have made these smaller ones and as you will see let me bring you in these have a very small diorama in the bottom and on the top is an air plant and I created an indent for the air plant so it wouldn't like fall over and you can arrange your air plant however way you want it. And these shall be on my Etsy store. I've mixed some resin, but for now, using my resin brushes, I am only going to resin um, the inside and the outside. And once that's dry, I can, you can see that, um, then do the sand at the bottom of the ocean and hang some jellyfish if I want to. Uh, maybe put a tiny little turtle walking on the bottom, some plants, and then attach the plastic that's going to keep the ocean in. Part of why I want to do this is I did have some leakage with the ocean and I think the resin on the wood was too slippery. Even with the hot glue, it was just finding its way out. So I'm just going to pour a little. If this does find its way down the sides, I'm just going to brush it off or wipe it off rather. And it probably will, there it goes. Get it in all the cracks. And what I'm probably gonna wipe this off with, I have these wipes from the hardware store, they're called Grime Boss wipes, and they literally get anything off. So, that's what I will be using. in a sec when I finish doing this bit. I'll show you now because I'm going to get on and do this off camera. It's time for some gardening. So I have a sand mixture here. I've got, I'm going to put a turtle in the bottom of each starfish, maybe a couple of stones, some little shells some plants, um, I'm not sure which plants, I'm just going to do it as I go along. Let me get a little pair of scissors. That's my shell lid. So let's, so everything's dry and nice and smooth. Resin's not sticking at the side. So These are gonna have a little bit more resin than the other one I showed you at the beginning because the other one was kind of like high at one end and low at the other. These are more semicircle. Anyway, let's do the bottom of the ocean. Don't need a lot of sand. 
my long necked turtle. Oh, you need to be down there a bit. There you go. I don't know, he's so funny. Cute but funny. All right, you've got to keep your toes in. Okay, now I've got a lovely starfish. done this off camera so I have one diorama just with hot glue I have one with some packing tape and hot glue and then I have one just with packing tape I have done so many of these and the resin is the sneakiest thing it, it finds every nook and cranny to escape. So I'm going to use Naked Fusion's Deep Pour Casting Resin. Um, it is two to one. So um, these don't take a lot. And I'm going to tint it with... I tested out all these inks. And I think I'm going to go with, I tried out Bombay inks. And I think I'm just going to keep it really simple and just go with Bombay turquoise and just use a couple of drops to just like have it like super clear. The resin is fully mixed. It's different. The deep pour resin is very different from regular resin. It's much, much thinner. So this is going to be interesting. I just hope these stand the test because it's much more likely to leak out. I've got my glue gun ready to like shoot out the spots. I've actually never used masking tape to seal these. So let me take my Bombay ink. This is Bombay ink's um, turquoise, which to me doesn't look like turquoise. It looks blue, but let's add some. I probably would got way too much resin, but I have other projects I can use it on. But I want this, to, I want the resin to be very, very light. This looks good actually. It's got to look like water. So let's begin with the one I did first, which is just hot glue. Oh, and also with the deep pour resin, you get less bubbles, although well, I can see some bubbles in the top, but let's pour this in, hopefully without spilling any. I might get my hands in the way, but let's do this. Please don't drip. Ah. All right. Okay. Beauty of doing it on camera, you get warts and all. So 
so I'm going to need to prop this up. Okay, I've wedged it between two pieces of clay. See? You can do your bloopers on the camera. Um, anyway, I'm just going to fill the rest of it up. Um, I think that's good. Let the bubbles come to the surface. And because this is deep pour resin, it takes a while to set. So let's pray. This one doesn't leak. You're learning from my mistakes. So far, so good. Yep, and I don't think that can go much higher because um, this is as high as it can go at that end. All the bubbles coming to the surface. Righty, so uh, the plastic's off and... Um, I need to sand the sides. This is my, this is really cheap Black & Decker um, sanding. I've sanded the sides already and now it has a bit of a rough bottom. So I'm gonna sand that. Most of this I'm not even gonna put in the video. I'm just gonna do it just to show you how easy this is. Um, let me help if I took the safety latch off. Anyway, that's the gist, that's the basics. I'm gonna get on and sand these, finish it, and then take you back into my studio and finish the rest of it and then put the shells with their air plants on and put them in their little puddle of ocean water and it'll all be finished. I'm going to start the resin part now and um, there are several ways to do this. So what I decided to do was to, here's another one, mask the back as if it were a painting and just resin one side. The reason I focused on this one is because this is the one that fell over and in, in my kind of blooper bit in the video. And there were holes in it, which I think are gonna look actually quite cool. So with this one, I didn't mask the entire back because I don't, I'm not really sure if the holes go right through from the front or the back. Got to make. It's not really essential to get this absolutely level, by the way, because one of my silicone brushes. Because it's not like resining a painting. I just want a nice, clear coat of resin. So here is said resin. We'll start with this one. And let's see what happens. I'm expecting this will leak through. The, you know, as, as you know, the sides 
had already been resined. Um, so anyway, let's go. They've been given their like top coat. I've still got to do the top of the ocean. And the reason I've left that is I decided not to put a scoop in. I'm going to attach the shells to the resin. I'm going to put them on a base. And for the base, I'm going to use Liquidy Split, the fast setting resin. And I've put them in these kind of wacky coaster molds to give them um, you know, a solid stand so that they never fall over. This is one-to-one -one ratio and I know I don't need a lot so I'm just going to do like, uh, I'll do six ounces because I actually have something else that I can do. Mixed the liquidy split. I've also mixed a little bit of regular resin because I'll paint the top of these. I've got some shells over here, which I'm going to put on top. I've got three. I have a failed one in the background, which I'm going to decide what to do with. So um, I'm thinking that I might put this big shell on this wide one here and one of these cute green shells, maybe this one. Yeah, that seems to sit like well like that here. So I'll put those to the side. I'll put my regular resin to the side and just going to zap the top of this to get rid of those bubbles. I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny bit of blue. So I'm going to pour this in the bases now. It's all mixed in. Let's begin with this one. I mean, I've sanded the bottoms and they do stand on their own, but I found that if they have this added stand, it really helps keep their balance. Okay, and now I'm gonna paint the top. soft brush here. Now, I like to sit down for this so it keeps my hand really steady. Yeah, that's touching. Here's my regular resin. And I think I'm going to do this one first as it's further away. And I just take it very thin so I don't want it running down the side. Because I've sanded this. So all this is doing is getting rid of all the sand areas. Very, very careful. Uh, 
What's that one? Oh, this one. Take the heat gun to smooth that resin out. And now I'm going to attach the shells. So this one, which one it has, it's going to sit. figure out which way this is going to sit there. Um, so I might have to add a little bit more resin in the middle so that its feet has something to sit on. And that should hold fast by the time it's dry in the morning. And this one is gonna have this shell, which is much easier to attach. Just put a little extra here. It's to tip, let it find its position. There. All right. So uh, the base should be dry in a few hours. So I'll take those off. Any bubbles? And the tops will be dry in the morning. I can put their air plants on in and they will be finished. Here they are finished. I've put them on a glass table. You can see all the beautiful snow outside, but you can also hear, see how crystal clear they are with their shells and their air plants in. And you can see two of them have the stands that I made from the molds. And this one has a different kind of stand. It was just um, some resin that I let leak. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put them on my Etsy store, ASAP. And you should definitely try something similar. They're absolutely gorgeous. There's a little turtle inside and the plants and gorgeous. So I'll see you next time. Bye.